Yes, it's real. And what you need to do is go back to the financial crisis of 2008 and understand the huge policy and regulatory response to that crisis, which is a raft of regulations around banks' capital, business conduct, transparency, and risk. And transparency is a very interesting one because to be transparent, you have to understand your business operation. And what had happened over many decades was those businesses' operations had developed in quite a vertical and siloed manner. There was a lack of standardization and a lack of basic concepts, such as unique identifiers. Of course, in parallel to this problem developing, there was the emergence of very exciting transformational technology, whether that's digitization, cloud, distributed technologies, and big data. So what you had is a potential solution to those huge regulatory challenges, and that's RegTech. The perception was uh, derivatives were a big contributory factor to the problems in 2008 and 2009. So in Pittsburgh in 2009, the Intergovernmental Conference created a framework around trading, centralised clearing and reporting. And transaction reporting obligations were actually initially implemented in Japan, followed by the US. And these reporting obligations are pretty onerous. They cover what your instrument is, who you traded with, the exposure, the price. And a particular challenge in Asia, of course, is Asia's not one place. So you may have a trader in Japan trading a US dollar instrument with an Australian counterparty that trade has to be reported to the Japanese, the Australian, and the US authorities. So, that was the bad news. The good news is, there are several people with solutions to help leveraging these new technology uh, techniques. So, at RHS Market, we have a product called MarketServe, which is at its heart a derivative confirmation platform but we've enhanced and integrated this to enable that the standardization, the network, up to 2,000 participants, and the expertise we have in RHS market can help banks and financial institutions deliver their reporting obligations. So how do we do that? We have a platform that retrieves data from multiple sources, normalizes them, determines where you need to send that report, and crucially gives you an end-to-end -end workflow to identify breaks and to resolve breaks and to transmit them to the relevant authority. What does that do? It enables banks to discharge their regulatory obligations, let them focus on the business, on growing the business, and to do the things they've been waiting 10 years to get back to do.